Hi, this is Professor Mendez Escobar here, and this video is part of a video series where I cover the different components to consider when you're writing about child development based on child observations. If you have not checked out the video where I cover interpretation basics, make sure you check that out before watching this video. In this particular video, I'll be going over some writing basics. I'd like to start off by answering this question. Why do we write interpretations of child observations? The main reason why that is, is to show evidence of your understanding of course content. It is during child observation interpretations that you show that you are understanding what you're learning in the class. So that's the main reason why you do this. So you want to make sure that after you write an interpretation, you go back and ask yourself, does this show that I understand development? And the way that you determine if you're showing evidence of understanding is in these, these steps that I want you to think about. First, use terms. You want to make sure that you are using developmental terms. And developmental terms, some examples are cognitive development, Piaget's theory of cognitive development, temperament, attachment, emotion regulation, developmental milestones. Those are developmental terms. So you want to make sure that you're using them. You also want to explain these terms. So what does a milestone mean? Explain that. So to show that you're understanding it. And you also want to make sure that you cite your references. The expectation is that you are learning in this course. So it's not expected that you know everything that you are writing about. So show where you got your information. And you cite references even if you paraphrase, which is putting information in your own words, and also if you do direct quotations. You always want to cite your references. And you want to make sure that you keep your writing focused. So if you're asked to write about physical development, make sure you focus on that. If you are asked to explain a particular theory, make sure that you focus on that. If you are asked to show examples of how development interrelates, make sure that you focus on that. So you show your evidence of understanding because you use developmental terms that you explain using citation of your references and you keep your writing focused to the writing prompt. Okay? So that concludes this video. Make sure that you check out the rest of the videos in this series. See you then.